Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Let's go and take a look and see some of the things that we have done during this uh, last two weeks. All right guys, for the last uh, two weeks we've been working on this uh, butcher board. I wanted to make this countertop into a butcher board, so um, take a look at some of the videos in which we uh, got to this point. All right guys, what we have here is the uh, rough, uh, pretty rough, uh, what we're trying to do here is a uh, butcher board. We, uh, Ricky went ahead, he uh, glued these uh, pieces of wood, pieces of lumber uh, together. Uh, has a few little holes on there, but uh, nevertheless, we're going to uh, patch that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to run the planner right now. We're going to try to surface this, make it uh, nice and leveled and uh, flat as possible. So that's what we're going to do uh, right now. Here's an old trick that my dad taught me once, is uh, we want to fill in these holes and everything. We've got several holes uh, here on the uh, on the wood. Ricky sanded it down real nice, it's looking real good. But uh, nevertheless, we have these uh, some of these knots and some of these holes that we need to fill in. And what we do is uh, we get some of this uh, sawdust and uh, out of your sander, here's a sander right here. Let's. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. We take the uh, filter out, and then we place everything in here as much as we can of the sawdust. And that's quite a bit right there. That's, that's a very good amount of there that we have. Let's put the filter back in place. You know, we uh, take a little bit of. Uh, wood glue, white wood glue, and try to open it with one hand, which is a miracle at this moment. All right, with a lot of frustration, we finally got that uh, bottle open with the uh, glue, and then we go ahead and pour a little bit of uh, wood glue inside here. That's about uh, right right there. Looks like a little too much. Okay, so uh, we go ahead and uh, mix uh, some uh, stir stick here and now I'm gonna start mixing the uh, glue and also the, uh, the sawdust makes it real nice moments like this I wish I had a tripod all right now that I full have uh, fully mixed the uh, the glue and the sawdust together now we got ourselves a nice batch of wood filler so we'll go ahead and take a little bit of that Fill in the holes right there, and as you can see, it's the same color, and it's gonna turn out real nice. Well, basically what we have here is uh, hours of sanding. We got this nice and smooth, looking real good. We already uh, stained it once, and now we're gonna go ahead and stain it again. And I, I believe they call this uh, method of uh, staining is just grab a, a rag and get a nice amount on there and spread it out. I think they call this a, a French uh, wrap or French, oh, I don't know. I forgot the name of this. But it's uh, basically you just take a uh, rag, you go ahead and dip it uh, inside your stain and uh, you just rub it around. Get a nice, a nice layer on there. And uh, gonna look nice and shiny uh, obviously we're gonna have to do this uh, several times to get a nice layer of this uh, this uh, staining on there to make it uh, real look good but it's coming out pretty nice so today what we're gonna do is um, I already I already went and I did uh, some uh, staining 
Unfortunately, uh, it didn't want, it didn't get to the to the shine that I wanted to give. I wanted to give it a nice real shine, and um, <clears throat> and so I did some research and come to find out if I use this uh, shellac, if I shellac this, <clears throat> weird name, but if I shellac this and, uh, and do it in a, a uh, what they call a um, a French polish, right? So what you do is a French polish is basically you get a uh, piece of rag like we have here, a piece of the t-shirt, and you dip it inside the shellac. Slip it in there like so. And the shellac is, should give a real nice shine. So this is pine wood that I found uh, at, uh, at the yard and I uh, we glued it together and everything. And right now we are shellacking it. And basically this is how we, uh, we do it, uh, French polish. Again, you do it in a back and forth or circular mo motion. And just apply this. And uh, if you apply, oh, most likely about three or four uh, layers of this uh, shellac, it should have a real nice shine. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to show you the uh, Final results of this, but as you can see, it's already shiny. Gives it a nice shine. And there are many videos on uh, YouTube how to do this uh, French polish. I'm gonna go ahead and slack this other piece of board here. This is what I should have done, and before I stained it. So that's the first uh, coat. And to put it away, we just put the rag back in the can. That's where it's gonna stay for the for the most part. And just close it up and wait for that to dry and settle. All right, guys, what we have here is our butcher board. We have uh, treated it, glued it. We've uh, shellacked it about a half a dozen times. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the old uh, formatic uh, countertop and we're just gonna Place it on top again, and just for us to get an idea, we're gonna lay out some cut. That's here with the plastic buster. All right, so basically, we have our cutout. Now we're gonna cut this thing. As you can see, we got the cutout, we got uh, everything lined up here. My concern right now is that we have what about this uh, two and a half or three inch uh, space here and I'm afraid that if I cut this, if I don't cut it just right, I'm afraid this thing might come unglued and break apart. Hopefully with all the shellac that I put on there, with all the layer of shellac and all, uh, once I cut this it should hold uh, everything together. So let's see how this uh, turns out as I make these uh, these cuts. Alright guys, here's the moment of truce. Let's see if this works. So far so good. Alright, now we're going to come with the uh, Ryobi uh, saw here and let's cut these uh, nice rounded cut corners.
this cutout, we can use a, uh, a sink cover with this. So it's worth uh, keeping. It's nicely cut. Thank God uh, it didn't crack, didn't uh, fall through. Everything is nice and glued. I'm going to go ahead and apply some slack here on the, on the corners just to protect the woodwork here on the, on the, on the sides here before we uh, install the, uh, the sink. But just for looks, we're going to install the sink and see if it fits and see how it looks. Uh, please uh, share and subscribe. Until next time, ciao for now.